Hey guys, Trish Epic here. So I've got the biggest unboxing this time. Cause Alec Mac ain't here. So I'm gonna take advantage of this with the super dull knife. The Alec Mac special knife that he made that in our garage. Whoa, really? My unboxing! Ah. Freaking hackers are trying to steal my stuff. Well, yeah, Trish Epic does this every year. Merry Christmas, guys. Hope you had a great time. Trish Epic just stole my knife. But without further ado, we are going to do a huge unboxing. So I actually got two e-bike mystery boxes and an Airsoft GI mystery box. So this is the most mystery boxes I've ever got at one time. Um, it's the Holiday Gift 1 and Holiday Gift 2 from e-bike and something on Airsoft GI. Um, I went e-bike, Airsoft GI, e-bike because that's kind of how the packages fit. Um, I'm actually not sure what I got with these ones because the past two that I've got from e-bikes have both been double guns. Um, or this one, I don't know if this is a, this might be a gun and a pistol. The middle one, I feel like it's just one gun. And then the bottom one is bigger and smaller. So we'll just see kind of how this goes. Jared, we'll put on that. Maybe a line. Looks like there's two guns in this one. I think, uh, oh, upside down. This one's Avengers something. Avengers Airsoft, I see in the side box. Looks like there's two. Avengers Airsoft and I have no clue what this is. M4A1? Wow. Oh, this might be their player pack. There's one Matrix battery, 9.6, 1600. Two of the same ones. I'm just throwing this up in my bed. Oh, this is the, yeah, APS hat. So like, this one I think was the first or second. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, APS multicam hat. My multi-game pattern's good. It has a nice little uh, um, bungee strap there, which is kind of nice. And then it has a, I think this is the Hak yeah, the APS and then Hakatsu logo, which are the same companies. But it gave me two safety sacks. There was some other box on the bottom. We'll get to that in a second. These are the double safety sacks. M4A1 S&T Armament, which is honestly not the greatest guns. S&T Avengers don't make super great stuff. Evike. Uh, Pew Pew Life HGT Shooter. One of the hex. Their e bikes hex, pa hex patches are actually really cool. I like their hex patches a lot. I think they're 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 like just I don't know. It's a cool little design. I think I have. There's the operator one, um, e bike one. So I have three now. This one's actually kind of cool. This is like a red. So it's a Christmas. Pew Life Hot sh Hot Shooter. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, B A M F. M4, shorty, wow, it's uh, real light, like really, really light, has a mag, I'll give this to my tech to, to mess around with, it has a mag, like a high cap mag, that was uh, another mag, standard high cap, but I don't know what this is, matrix tactical systems. So I'm not sure what this is. Honestly, like when I get three different unboxings and I just went through finals week at college, I don't remember exactly what like the different ones were. I just get mystery boxes because I like mystery boxes. Oh, it's a pistol. Uh, Colt 1911, the, like the Matrix Dex Dextonics. Yeah, these are the Dextonics 45. That is a small, small box. Cool. This was one of just the normal, the normal prizes. That is real tiny. So we're gonna move that. It looks pretty nice. Got a stainless barrel. Needs lubed a little bit. No gas in the mag at all. Tiny little pistol. It's hard for me. I have pretty large hands. So like little pistols, I mean I can grip it with two fingers. My pinky is down here in the bottom, just completely not there. Let me see the info. It looks Decent. It's pretty much all polymer. Like the whole thing's polymer. I don't know. This is like their cheap ones. Um, yeah, just normal. Stay back 100 meters, or you will be shot. Let's do the middle one. So this is Airsoft GI's. Airsoft GI actually makes you pay for shipping as well, which I hate. I hate that like Evite gives you free shipping, which I think is awesome. But the Evite one ended up being 100 and. 50, it's like 150, 160 each one, and this one ended up being like 191. So I'm hoping something good comes out of this. Uh oh, BFC? That's a good sign. It's a small box. 
think that's VFC logo. Box is kind of damaged. It is a VFC something. VFC is a good sign. VFC stubby import? Don't know what this ranks on the prize list, but it's in a plastic box. Comes with like a tech box? VFC VR16 mod. I think this is one of their new, the VFC's new series of M4s. And VFC makes some nice stuff. So I'm not sure exactly how much price point this is, but this is, yeah, this is VFC. 370 FPS, it says on the side of it. Comes with a uh, VFC patch, VFC wristband, VFC uh, coupon or thing. So it comes with a uh, PEC-15. This is kind of cool, black PEC-15. So it's front wired because it's such a, it literally doesn't have a stock. You kind of need the battery box to run there. I actually like short guns. I used to, if you guys remember, man, way back to my videos, the GMP Baby Monster was my gun. I had two of those different ones. Oh, they have good bull catches. I had two different GMP Baby Monsters, and I just would go to, to Fallen Warriors, and I'd throw that thing on full auto, and at the beginning of games, I'd blow through 300 round high caps just like that. I mean, I would blow through mags. I'd throw in a 120 mid cap. I mean, just empty the entire mag in like five seconds with that thing because it shot like 25 rounds a second. But that, like, this brings back those memories, man. That was such a such a good, such a good gun that I love. So pretty cool. Not a bad. I this turned out better than the first e-bike one. So this is worth because, um, oh, this is the this is an amp amplifier. I didn't even see that. It's a little amplifier. So take off the orange chip, put this amplifier on. I'm guessing here. Yeah. That'll actually look kind of sweet. I don't know. Never seen that before. It's just like kind of stubby suppressor amp. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good. That's a good grab. I don't know exactly. Like I said, it also comes with the high cap, VFC high caps or mid caps actually. Oh yeah, they have the new mid caps now. They're really really lightweight. So pretty good middle box. Where did I put my knife? Might have to go out this old fashioned. I actually worked really well. So last box, e-bike. Uh, I don't know if this is holiday gift one or two, but one of them. So we'll see. Oh, sweet! It's one of these the AW Customs. Actually, one I tried to talk. I tried to ask to talk to this company. I sent them like an email to see if they wanted to do, because um, they just come out on e-bike. Please be the pretty colored one that I like. I don't know exactly which versions of these there are, but. It's just a black one, but it's still hot kappa. It's got the gold at Oh, this is the double barrel one. That's sick. Dear lord. <laughs> That's so dumb. That's really cool actually. So a double, you only load you load the gas in the in the middle on the one. What do you guys think? Pretty close in size. Same trigger. Safety. I wonder if the. It's like got some nice action. So, got the... so you can't pull the trigger. That's kind of cool. If you only have one of them pulled down, you can't pull them. That's actually dope. That is stupid. Like, <laughs> this literally feels like a giant paperweight. Like, I can't. I have pretty big hands. Like I'm, I'm almost 21. I'm a basketball player, and like I'm, I'm about six foot. And this is, this is a meaty gun. Dang, that is huge. Okay, that is that's actually sick. I'm kind of surprised at that. I think that one. I don't think there were very many packages that included the double one. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I was talking to AW Customs to see if they would like send me a gun to review or something. And then another AK. They end up never getting back to me. Another AK. I just actually same Sima. So I just got a Sima AK that I actually just sold in my last um, video. I got the full stock one. This is a folding. It's got the under like the, the U stock. Oh, I, know, I guess the, both of them came with the hats. So now I, this one only gave me one safety sack. So now I have four safety sacks, which are probably pretty good. I might give to like newer players. Oh, wait for the wait for the cringe. I hate that like styrofoam plastic. 
I love, I honestly love Simon guns. Maybe I'm like biased because my first gun was a Simon M14, but Simon makes some good stuff and they're cheap, like they are not expensive guns. They're not the greatest quality AK or anything, but it's like, it's like a super solid beginner gun. This is perfect for beginners that are trying to get in the sport. I'm just trying to play airsoft. Kim's with the sling, BBs. 500 round high cap, I think the AKs hold 500 rounds for their high caps. Just chucking that in the boxes on my bed. But yeah, pretty good grab, like pretty good haul from all this stuff. Haul, I'm sounding like one of those makeup girls. If you're a makeup girl, good for you, but I, that is not for me. I don't think guys call it hauls, but I heard like, me and my friends at college the other day were like looking at stuff and we were like, what do girls do for YouTube as far as like stuff? Cause I know they're like, makeup people are huge. But I digress. This is not a bad gun. I like, I kind of like the folding stock AKUs. One of the first guns that Sure Shot Midget actually owned was a Crossman AK-74U is what they called them. And it had this folding stock and that thing was, was sweet. And it was like the God gun after a little while because it just, I mean, it was one of the first AEGs that everyone owned in the, the YouTube Airsoft neighborhood pew pews back before, like when we were all 12. Um, but pretty decent haul. So we got an AK, we got a little pistol. We got a fairly crappy M4, and we got this awesome, this is the coolest thing by far in the unboxing. I don't know how I'm going to use this in a gameplay, but I'm definitely going to shoot the crap out of this. AW Custom 1911 Double Barrel Exploder uh, 62 Beast Gun. So, I like the black and gold. I was kind of hoping for one of like the, the, the colored guns with like a lot of colors. I don't even know if they make this one in the colors, but the black and gold actually... Is, is a really nice accent, guys. Have a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys got some cool guns. Um, comment below if you got a gun that you're like, man, this is really what I got. This is what I got. I love it. I'm super excited. Or maybe the gun you want to get for Christmas um, that you're hoping you get, maybe you can get with the Christmas money after. Um, but thanks for watching these video guys, videos, guys. I love you guys. I'm super excited that we've hit 50,000 subscribers. Um, super cool today. Jesus is the reason for the season, man. And um, just cool to get guns and to be able to get stuff and live in America where we can we can get airsoft guns and play. And for those of you that are in countries that can't, I'm sorry. Uh, come play airsoft here, and I'll let you borrow this and maybe shoot the crap out of your friend with this. Like it's it's a blast. Uh, we've got we literally are at 51,000 subscribers right now, and that's super cool. I will definitely be playing with these guns. I might do reviews on some of them. I might um, be I'll probably be selling quite a few of them just because I have a lot of guns. Um, but this has been Alec Mac 101 with the annual Christmas video. Have a great Christmas, guys. See you guys later.